right now in the previous uh uh, courses or whatever the series, I have tried to make a platformer game and an RPG game, which both sucked horribly. I know. Okay, this is not how you do it, and there's a lot of things I'm learning. And while I'm learning, I'm, I will try to teach you guys how you guys can create your own platformer with as minimum time efficiency as possible but i will try my best to create a clean code environment and make a game and let's have some fun okay so in the previous episode as you can see they are like super bad okay so let's get started creating your first platform game so if you follow the previous video it will be different okay i swear lots of things will be different lots of things will be much more preferable and much more efficient so let's get straight to it okay let's go down to some of the mistakes that we have made in the previous actually i have made okay that that was my fault i agree so i created a scene and then scene 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 multiple millions of scenes right here okay this is not how you do it what how what do you do you create multiple of these scenes and then you add them to the main scene so you first create to the scene uh, a world scene uh, a world and then you save that scene as a world scene then you create a plat uh let's say um layer player scene and you save that player scene and you bring that player scene to it so you click on this little button and then you add that player scene so you, you cannot see anything but this is how you in in ghetto you actually do okay in the previous both courses it backfired horribly so i'll be recoding those as well and another thing there is um so what you will need to do is go to game art2d.com the link will be in the description so go there click on freebies and everything and lots of people said oh, where the heck you download those all of this crap they look at this there's a lot of them use it whatever you want it doesn't matter choose whatever or if you have your own that's amazing okay so let's go ahead and cut it out and let's get started creating your first level now to create your first level you need to make sure that you have what's known as a tile map so what is a tile map a tile map is basically multiple of those images or an image with multiple of uh, sprites so there's two types of tile maps that you can create number one is single tile number two is multi tile so you 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 see with so wait let me show you sprite sheets and if i go there and i would say images and go let's find something uh, let's go ahead and say RPG S sprite sheets and these are all sprite sheets but I what I want to show you is environment uh, yeah so um, yeah this guy I have used a lot of this okay so th th this is a sp uh, what's known as a sprite sheet okay so we divide each and every those to an, a single tile and you can paste it. So you can use this one or you can use uh, multiple images. So to show you, let's go here and let's go back to my folder, sprites, tile set. Let's go PNG and tiles. So as you can see, uh, we have multiple of them tiles. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Th these are multiple of them tiles. So we'll just go ahead and click on this and we'll import all of this crap here. So enough talking. Let's go ahead and create your level. So we'll be using multiple of them tiles. Okay. So we will create a new tile map. And as you can see, it's amazing. You'll click on this button called tile set and click on new tile set and then click on inside of them. Now, in here, you, you'll go over there, click on this button. You'll, <clears throat> you'll select this, shift and the last, click on the last PNG and then hit open. So, and I will just show you once you need to do that. To yourself I mean to all of these things so go I will show you one so I'll click on the first PNG you'll drag and drop 
uh, first you click on new single tile and you'll drag and drop this and as you can see it has multiple of them so you'll always for now choose collision collision and you'll go click on the new rectangle so which collision you want to have so you'll just go like this and this is how you make a collision layer so this is collided so now uh, if some kinematic bodies comes in and you can easily uh, detect that this is a tile so you need to stop that kinematic body or stop that player so do that for this and this too so let's go to, we'll just do this f for these as well because we'll, we don't really need them we'll be using them later but uh, so for the tutorial i'm not gonna make a like whole like all of them you don't need to so let's go and do that so let's new single tile like that collision and like this single tile like that collision like this okay so after I do that, you save and then go back to the tile map. And as you can see, we have all of them. Now, there's a problem here. Look, that it doesn't fit, okay? The boxes are 32 by 32, but we want a one a 64 by 64, but we want 124 by 124. So to do that, go to the tile map, cell and 64, and then just multiply it by, sorry, multiply it to 128 that's pretty cool 128 so there you go and as you can see we have perfect amount of them so we'll just go like that so then look, look and see how easy it is to create a level so let's go there and you save and then we run and select water TSN and boom we got yourself a level Okay, let's go ahead and add some more stuff because it's a little bit boring, you know. What can we add? Um, let's add the simplistic player as possible because if I just go ahead and add more stuff, it would be a little bit complicated. So we'll go, we'll code the player later on, but let's go ahead and just add the player if I can. So let's go create a new scene and then we'll say other node. Like, I, I think I will just code it, maybe, but no animation. Next video, I think I'll do the animation. So, player. Um, I'm super, super sorry about that. Um, yeah. Kinematic body 2D. And let's go ahead and just say, which one was it? Collision shape. Let's add a new rectangle shape and add, sorry, and add a sprite. And go to sprites and you can find all of them. Just download it and extract it as a zip file. It will look like this and just go ahead and extract it. So let's go to characters and look at them. How many are them? So let's go to the idle one. So just add to the texture and save as player.tsn. And let's go ahead and um, let's add a script so it can move. Go, let's create a new right click folder, scripts, and scripts, and um, right click, new script, and let's say, um, player, create. So inside of them, we have played player.gd. So let's add them. So load, scripts, player.gd, open. And save that guy, go back to script. Now, I, I don't know how I'm going to code. Let's go ahead and just figure it out. So, for, sorry. First, we need... Make sure to watch my video on basic good old tutorial if you, before you even do a, a, any of that crap. Because this is going to be a little bit hard. Maybe. I don't know. So, bar, um, let's go ahead and say speed... Okay, there you go. Speed and export just meaning that this the speed variable we can edit it in inspector. And we need a motion variable which will be our vector for movement. 
Um, how am I gonna do that? Then there's a lot of movements. Uh, we'll change those movements later, but just be really, really simple. So function underscore uh, process. And let's go and say if input dot is action action pressed UI left motion motion dot x uh, left equals to speed and times by delta. And just go ahead and boom. I'm gonna say if it's a UI underscore right and plus equals to speed times delta. And we can create a little jump, but for now, I think it should be fine. Now remember, this is not a really, really good way to code it because um lots of things can mess up. So I will show you a better way to code in the next video, maybe. So let's go ahead and add add the player to world. So let's go and click on this and player.tcn and we got it. This is huge. Wow. I didn't knew that this guy is that big. Let's make him small. Holy moly, this is so big. One oh sorry, I'm just I'm just an idiot. Let's go for 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and should it be fine? Yeah, I think so. Let's go ahead and see what happens. And oh, I I didn't add in speed because I'm an idiot. Oh, another thing I I just forgot, which was saying motion equals to move and slide motion. So mo sorry, because I didn't said that which variable to use to move so remember uh we will explain more of this what is happening oh sorry sorry kinematic body 2d because we are coding the kinematic body not the node so this is another problem and we save that guy and it will not work because of the speed so 200 should be fine and now as i can see i said once once and it's like moving like in like this way right this is not what we want we want to stop when we stop moving so we say else else because when we are not move pressing anything simply set motion back to vector two dot zero, and then we run. As you can see now, when I stop, boom, it stops. This is how you code your first uh, player. And remember that the, the 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 thumbnail you see will be the exact game. Okay, this is the exact game we'll be building. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.